Well, here we are, 53 minutes to go before the balloons pour out of the ceiling in Annapolis, signaling the end of the 90-day lawmaking session. ABC 2 News' Don Harrison with the final push to midnight and signy die. It was a very busy 2017 legislative session. Nearly 3,000 bills were considered to become law. Many failed, but some had passed. Governor Hogan had his hand in some of those bills, and he reflects on the last 90 days. Well, so far, we're really pleased with the way the session has gone. Governor Hogan speaking to this year's legislative session. The governor should be pleased. Many of his bills were passed in his favor, some untouched, others were compromised. One bill that was a disappointment to the governor was one concerning school funding that the governor vetoed. The House and Senate have enough votes to override that veto. It's really the worst thing that happened. It, it, keep, it pro prohibits us from making improvements to failing schools and it potentially could risk up to a billion dollars in federal funding. One of the governor bills that did pass was a bill that strengthened Maryland's ethics laws. That is it, no comment. The ethic bill comes on the heels of Senator Nathaniel Oaks charged with bribery as the senator allegedly accepted nearly 15,000 for projects. There's no question uh, that people want to see the ethics in Annapolis cleaned up and this bill doesn't quite go as far as we had wanted it to. They did weaken a little bit but it makes some major steps in the right direction. The medical marijuana bill is still unresolved. Some lawmakers feel there is room for more diversity. We need disparity in the state. You know, it's one of those things where obviously, you know, we know the minorities make up almost 30 percent of the population here. So we need to make sure we have them covered. And that's the right thing to do. The last day of the session is never a dull affair. And tonight lived up to that. Most of the more contentious bills have been decided, but we will find an absolute resolution in a little under an hour when the final bell rings at midnight. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.